Police in Redford with a big mess on their hands. This is after a car, a driver actually crashed right into a subway restaurant. From Sky 4 here, you can see the scene. This is on Joy Road near Beach Daily. Police say an older woman accidentally hit the gas pedal instead of the brake. She slammed through the subway restaurant and you can see there is a lot of damage to the subway shop. Fortunately, though, the good news is no one out there was hurt. Mary Barra saying GM's 2018 exceeded expectations. Barra said the company expects to surpass its original 2018 adjusted earnings projection of between 580 and 620 a share. She went on to say 2019 looking even better. GM planning to expand its footprint overseas with a global family of vehicles set to launch in China sometime later this year. It is no pay Friday for hundreds of thousands of federal workers. This, of course, as the government shutdown enters its 21st day now. Tracy Potts is in Washington, where the president says he's found a way to pay for the border wall. That's what has derailed budget negotiations and left government employees on edge, wondering how they'll make ends meet. Today is the day that hundreds of thousands of government workers failed to see that first paycheck. We can't pay our bills. The deadlock between President Trump and Democrats still on over this border wall. We're not changing our mind because there's nothing to change your mind about. The wall works. The president back from the border now says within a few days it is likely he will issue an emergency order to pay for that wall out of Pentagon funds and work around Congress. Is it legal? Is it going to face a legal challenge? Likely so. Even some Republicans don't want to see that happen. The president says it is the only way to end this stalemate and get folks back to work. In Washington, I'm Tracy Potts.